Let's go to question number six. An object has a displacement from position vector r1 i plus 2j meter to r2 is 3i plus 4j meter under force f is equal to 2xi cap plus 3y square j cap newton. The work done by this force on the object will be is a four option. Now see, dear students, that the force is variable. So we will use the integration method to calculate work. So f is equal to f dot dr with integration. Now this become equal to fx into dx plus fy into dy because dr is equal to dx i cap plus dy j cap. So this is fx dx plus fy into dy. Now to search the limits from here and fx from here. The fx from this question is 2x into dx and the limit of x are from 1 to 3. And for y, fy is equal to 3y square into dy and the limits of y are from 2 to 4. So this become 2 and x square by 2, 1 to 3 plus 3, y cube by 3 and limits are from 2 to 4. Now so I'll be this become 3 square minus 1 square plus 4 cube minus 2 cube. So this is 9 minus 1 plus 64 minus 8. So this become 8 plus 64 minus 8 which is equal to 64 joule. So the correct option is answer number 4. The question number 7 is a simple pendulum of length L carries a bob mass m. If the breaking strength of the string is 3 by 2 mg, the maximum angular amplitude from the vertical can be. These are four options. Now see the diagram. Let's say we release the pendulum from this state when it's making an angle theta. And as it comes down, the tension in the string continuously increases. So the maximum tension is at the bottom mass point. And we will the speed at this point and the tension in this case, mg is downward. And if you write the equation for tension, so T minus mg is equal to m into v square divided by L. So if T is equal to mg plus mv square by L, and T is given, if you release from here, and tension at this point is given 3 by 2 mg, so 3 by 2 mg is equal to mg plus mv square by L. That implies that g by 2 is equal to v square by L. So v square is equal to gl by 2. Right? This is one equation. Now as it is coming down, L was the length. As we are coming down, so this is height h by energy method. So half mv square should be equal to mgh. I look from geometry if this is theta then this would be the l cos theta and this is l minus l cos theta which is h so this is equal to mgl 1 minus cos of theta right theta we are going to find out so v square by 2 is equal to gl 1 minus cos of theta v square is equal to gl by 2 so i fill up here so v square is equal to gl and 2 is already there by 4 and that is equal to gl 1 minus cos of theta. So gl cancel then 1 minus cos theta is equal to 1 by 4 and therefore cos theta is equal to 3 by 4. If cos theta is 3 by 4 then theta will be cos inverse 3 by 4. So answer is option number 4. Let's start the question number 8. A uniform rod of length 6 meter is bent at the middle so that two halves are inclined by an angle of 60 degree with each other as shown in the figure. The shift of the center of mass will be. Now dear student, these are the four options. So it was straight. Now look at from this point. As this rod is bent, you take as 0, 0 point. So 1 part is here with the mass of m by 2 and second part is here with mass of m by 2. If I take this as y axis, this is x axis, there is no shift in x axis because of symmetry, but there will be in y axis, 
then y is equal to the mass into this distance. This angle is 30 degree. So this distance will be equal to this length which is equal to L by 2 and cos of 30 degree. And likewise now this mass plus m by 2 into this length is L by 2. L by 2 into cos of 30 degree divided by total mass. And total mass is equal to m by 2 plus m by 2. So m cancel out from here. So y coordinate will be L by 4 cos of 30 plus L by 4 cos of 30 divided by 1. So fill out the value of cos 30. Cos 30 is equal to root of 3 by 2. So this value come to be 3 root 3 by 4. So no change in x coordinate only in y coordinate your answer will be second option 3 root 3 divided by 4 meter. Question number 9 is a disc rotates freely with the rotational kinetic energy E about a normal axis passing through the center. A ribbon having the same mass and the same radius as of disc gently placed on the disc. The new rotational kinetic energy of the system would be. Now dear students a disc was rotating like this and the energy of the disc will be equal to half of i which is equal to mr square by 2 into omega square this is one equation now when you put another ring on the disc the new moment of inertia will change and therefore accordingly the omega will change and by conservation of angular moment of i into omega will be equal to i prime into omega prime and i was equal to what the initial moment of inertia mr square by 2 into omega and now the moment of inertia is equal to mr square by 2 plus mr square due to the ring into omega prime so therefore omega prime is equal to omega by 3 now what is the new the energy this is equal to 1 by 2 and moment of inertia mr square plus mr square by 2 into omega prime square so fill omega prime omega by 1 by this 3 by 2 mr square and this is omega by 3 square so one cancel out and this value come to comparing with this one this value come to be e by 3 so the correct option is the second answer question number 10 is a wheel of radius r rolls with slipping with the linear speed b and angular speed omega is b by 2r on the horizontal road as shown in figure when it is at point a on the road a small lump of the mud separates from the wheel at the highest point B and drops at point C on a road. The distance AC is. Now this is rolling with slipping and C. The velocity of this point will be 1 because of center of mass which is V and second due to the, the rotation. That is equal to omega into R and this is V plus omega is given equal to V by 2 R into r so this become equal to 3 v by 2 now this become a projectile instantaneously as get separated so this is horizontal projectile and this will go like this one with the initial velocity and the range become equal to the horizontal velocity into the time of the flight and time of flight formula what is that 3 v by 2 and this is equal to 2h by g and what is h in this case this height which is equal to 2r so this is equal to 3v by 2 into 2 h is equal to 2r divided by g root so this is 3v by 2 into 2 into root of r by g so 2 cancel with 2 so this is 3v into root of r by g and the correct option is answer 3.